In this lesson, we're gonna look at the functionality and usage of Microsoft Sentinel. Now this was formerly known as Azure Sentinel, but like many other things, it's been rebranded. So we have this idea of Microsoft Sentinel. And it actually has a number of different pieces of functionality. First and foremost, we think of this as a SIM. So a SIM system is this security information and event management. Its goal is to help investigate when there is some kind of security incident happening on your environment. It's there to help find various threats or exposures that might be happening. But it's also a SOAR. So if a SIM is about detecting and looking into the problem, a SOAR is a security orchestration automation response tool, i.e., hey look, something's happening, I've detected something, I actually want to be able to then do something. So I want to have this ability to automatically respond to it. And so Microsoft Sentinel does both of these. It has its own concept of native playbooks, it hooks into things like logic apps as well, so it can automate various responses when I have some incident happening. The way Microsoft Sentinel actually works is we talked before about an Azure Monitor Log Analytics workspace, and it's leveraging that. So Microsoft Sentinel is sitting on top of a Log Analytics workspace. And if you think about what do I need to be able to detect if there's something happening, if there's some exposure, I need lots and lots of information. And so the reason it sits on top of a log analytics workspace is I have all of these various signals coming in. I can think about, well, okay, I have security logs. I also have the idea that hey, there's various signals. And we're gonna get those to come in and be stored in our log analytics workspace. Now, one of the key things is those are the types of things we're gathering, but we wanna gather them from as many different things as possible. So yes, absolutely, I can gather these from Azure resources, but I can gather it from things on premises. I can think about things other clouds. I think about network equipment and my networking configurations. I think about my identity, for example, Azure AD. I think about other cloud SaaS applications. I want to get information from as many different things as possible. The more security logs, the more signals I get, the better. Now some of these connectors are just part of Log Analytics Workspace, but some of them actually are Sentinel specific. So Azure Sentinel, yes, it sits on top of a Log Analytics Workspace, but it also adds a number of different connectors that are unique to Azure Sentinel to help get me that information in. If we jump over and look at an Azure Sentinel instance, we can actually see, I have this idea of data connectors and I've got down here as part of my configuration. And we can see there's just a huge number. These are, notice, Amazon Web Services, Apache servers, Azure Active Directory, Azure DDoS, AKS, Barracuda networking appliances, checkpoints, Cisco devices, F5 devices, Google, workspaces, Microsoft 365 Defender. So a huge number of different types of connector to connect to all these different types of solutions. And what will happen is when you start to add these things, it's telling me the various data types that's gonna get added. And it will tell me, hey, the types of things that then will get enabled. So there were some new workbooks, there were some new queries. So it starts to enhance the functionality that I actually have in my environment. It's super basic. You can see here, hey, I just have three connected out of all of those possible ones that actually exist. But you can go through and add the connectors that make the most sense for you. And a key point here is, so connectors get us the data. 
Well, I could probably get the data for a large part on my own, but a huge volume of data on its own is useless. It's that ability to actually correlate all those different logs and signals together and understand what is meaningful. What do I actually care about? What indicates some kind of incident or attack? And that's what Microsoft Sentinel does. It looks at all of these signals and security logs, but it basically adds intelligence. So it uses things like machine learning, it's adding things like Microsoft cybersecurity teams to understand that, so it can actually give you meaningful insight into exactly what's happening in my environment. And what we'll see is, well, straight away it opens up things like, well, I have an overview, so I can quickly see nice visually events and alerts that are happening in my environment, heartbeats, configuration, updates. I have no alerts, so that's a nice thing. I could see incidents. I could see potential malicious events and where they're coming from around the world. I could directly access the Log Analytics workspace and run queries, but I can dive into incidents. So if there's actually an incident, it will then guide me, okay, what do I need to do? How do I start working through this? There are workbooks that help me actually go through and start focusing around, well, what should I do around this particular instant? I wanna work through it. I can go and look for signs of some attack. So hunting is essentially a query. So rare audit activity, and it's notice here, it's showing me the actual query that it's gonna run against that Log Analytics workspace. There's an indication of some rare audit activity initiated by the user. So hunting is where I wanna go and look for something. You're here, there's been various vulnerabilities exposed, and what happens a lot of the times is there'll be some query I can run on Azure Sentinel to help find a sign that that's happening to my environment. There are things like notebooks, which is built on Jupyter Notebooks, which gives me the ability to have some common response and pattern to actually look for things and then investigate what's happening. There's capabilities like entity behavior, which is actually now looking at profiles of users, of hosts and other things on what's common and then what are we seeing outside of that. It has its own threat intelligence capabilities, but also you can add in other sets of threat intelligence coming from other sources. Maybe it's sets of malicious IP addresses. There's other things I could add. That is domain names, files, IPv4 addresses, etc. So some indicator of some negative thing. But then for all of these, I can then add things like automation. So there are built-in automation rules that I don't have to really do anything. I can just go ahead and create an automation rule and it sets me for this nice guided experience. Or I can create a playbook which then calls something like an Azure Logic App, that serverless technology. So I really think about Azure Sentinel is there as that SIM solution. I'm gonna get all of the different security logs and signals coming in from all of my systems, the more the better. And then once it's gathered that, it has the intelligence, it knows the queries that matter, it knows the combinations of signals and logs that might mean something, it has machine learning, it has Microsoft cybersecurity teams building an intelligence to this, to actually then give me those abilities to, hey, sure, it might alert on things, hey, there's a problem, it's gonna generate those incidents, and then it lets me actually go and investigate. I can go and do hunting to go and find the problems, but also through that saw, it can then go and automate responses. Hey, I'm seeing some attack coming from this IP address, hey, I might have an automated response to go and block that IP address. Hey, I'm seeing a certain account doing something suspicious, hey, go to Azure AD and disable that account. So Azure Sentinel is lighting up all those various things. So I get the signals in, and then it's adding that ability to understand what it means and react.